Welcome everyone to State of the Game for the 24th of August 2017. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. That was a question for the people at home. I, you looked well, at me I when know, you said it. I was just, trying to, a trap. Uh, I was just trying to confuse you. All right. Uh, so obviously, uh, global event is the, the big thing that you know everyone's talking about. That we finished the first one on the 22nd, on Tuesday. I had a great time. It wasn't without some issues, of course. Um, but we're here to talk about things today, mm -hmm. and that's, that's definitely one of the things we're going to be talking about. Um, I think we should kick it off with the, the first thing yeah. that comes to mind, uh, and I'm sure people are already going to talk about it in, in chat. Um, leaderboards. Yes. Yannick. What, what do we have to say? <laughs> what have Yannick, you done, Yannick? What have you done with leaderboards? Um, no, so I mean, this is obviously the big feedback we've had from uh, the first global event, which was just, you know, like the, the way we were awarding the mask. You know, we put so much emphasis on the mask with the trader and then... Yeah, of course. Because uh, it's cool. Because it's cool. Yeah. And then the global event comes out and everything is on leaderboards and the leaderboard system is very confusing. And even ourselves got confused with the way it works. Yeah. Uh, which means that, yeah, this was definitely a far from an uh, optimal situation. Uh, and yeah, we, we know that. We've seen, yeah, we've seen a lot of discussion, a lot of complaints about it. And yep. we fully agree with everything you guys said. Uh, so. Well, I, I agree with most of the things. Someone said useless, ugly masks. They are useless, but I think they look freaking cool. Sorry, I just took issue with someone saying that. Uh, because, but that, that is one of the things. Because okay, it, so we agree with yeah, most of most, what you guys said. Uh, because the masks aren't yeah. for everyone. Not everyone cares about them, but there are a lot of people that really yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm one of the people that yeah. uh, like them. Yeah. I like the trench mask, even though the people say, uh, say, it, uh, say it's ugly. Yeah, I like it too. I think it's cool. Um, but then each to their own. Yeah. But exactly. yes, useless. Um, so yeah, we we did communicate things a little bit. Yeah. So as wrong. as I said, so the like it was a confusing system to the point where even we got confused. Yeah. So what happened is that we communicated on percentages mm -hmm. uh, based on the leaderboards, and we said, okay, the top ten percent is gonna get you know the tier three rewards, and then uh, I can't remember what were the initial uh, percentages. We had like 50%, the top 50% would yep. get the tier one, which was the lowest reward. But then we changed that on Monday uh, to make it the top 85% would get the tier one reward. Yep. Then the top, uh, what was it? 30% would get the tier two and top 10% mm, okay. would get the tier three. But that wasn't the whole math. But that wasn't the whole math. And that's where we failed. And sorry about that, guys. We, uh, we I mean, it says it's not the whole math, it was wrong. Yeah, I mean, like we, they, that was part of it, but then we didn't. Yeah, we we just yeah didn't uh, didn't give the, the full picture because uh, because yes, as I said, we we confused ourselves. So what happened is that the way the system works is that the percentages are correct, but it's not the percentages on the whole population. And many people have pointed that out in uh, in discussions on the forums mm -hmm. and on Reddit. They did the math and they saw and you guys saw that uh, yeah the math didn't add up with what we had said. So yes. what happened was that there was a ranking system that was added to the top. On top of that, so what that means is that uh, players were, and that was invisible to the players, but you were ranked based on what was your actual score. Mm. So that's what you would see in the leaderboards. Yeah, yeah. But there was also an actual rank behind the scenes that was taken into account. So for example, two players that, were, that would have the same score would actually have the same rank. So there okay. was as many ranks as there were like, you know, individual, individual scores scores. possible. Okay. So what that means is that, for example, two players that would have, you know, 3,050 would actually be of the same rank, mm -hmm. which means that when we said it's 10% of the population, it's not 10% of uh, the whole people that actually did the global event and scored and ranked in the leaderboard. It's okay. actually 10% of the ranks. It's the top 10% ranks. And so what happens is that on a whole population, there were a lot of people that would have the same score, but would have one same rank. Mm -hmm. So anyway. Super complicated system, as yep. I said, confusing, and uh, probably confusing a lot of people by trying to explain that. The end result is that when we said 10%, we said it would be 10% of the population, 85% okay. would be 85%. Completely wrong, that was completely wrong, yeah. and that's on us. Is there something we can do about that? Yes. Good. <laughs> because I think... Uh, cut, to, cut to the moment. Cut, cut to the chest, because, no, because uh, someone said, I, I saw it in chat before, nice excuse, massive. No, that's, that's not the case. We're, we're here to tell you uh, exactly what happened, what's going on. That's always what we're going to do on the stream. So 
Um, <laughs> Grumps is like, you lost me at ranks within ranks, additional ranks. Yeah, Yo, dog. as I said, it's, uh, it's, no, it's confusing. It's a confusing system behind the scenes. And as I said, it was, it was yeah. something we misunderstood. We miscommunicated internally on how that works. And that's why we gave you the wrong information. Yes. So on to what we can do about it. So what we can do about it, though, is that so the system was not broken. It was working as intended. It's just that we, again, didn't explain it correctly. Yes. But still, we want to make it right. We want to make it right because we gave you a wrong information, and that turned out to create an expectation. And then we disappointed because the people that actually thought were part of the correct percentages didn't get what they wanted. Agree. So what we're going to do is basically we're going to uh, take the list of all the players that participated in the, uh, in the global event, look mm -hmm. at the leaderboards, and actually apply the percentages the, set, the way we said they would apply, mm -hmm. which is 10% is 10% of the whole population, not 10% of rank, this ranking rank. uh, thing. Yeah. 85 is 85% 85 of the whole population. And we are going to grant the mask manually to all the players that didn't get the correct mask. Yes. So we are going to do the manual work ourselves, but mm -hmm. we're going to send the mask. If you were not part of the 85% based on the ranks hidden thing, mm -hmm. but you were part of the 85% based on the whole population that played the, the global event, you will be granted a mask. Exactly. So that will basically mean, uh, I don't know what the lowest score yeah. at the 85% thing is, but if you logged in during the global event, I mean, like, I, I'm not promising anything, but I would be surprised if activity that you did during that wouldn't get you mm. a mask. Yeah, so, so, that's the, so that's the first part. So yeah, what that means is that 85% of the people that actually were in the leaderboards will be getting the tier one reward. 30% uh, of the people that were in the leaderboards, the top 30% will get the tier two reward, and the top 10% yep. will get the tier three. Uh, so you may Correct. be getting more mask, or you will receive more mask than what, uh, what you had received mm. uh, when the global event ended. And when is that going to happen? We don't know yet. It's going to take mm. a few days because we need to you know, dump all the data and uh, prepare everything. But that's going to be done. We will let you know when it happens. Yep. And it will be in the reward camp window, like, uh, like in the past. Yeah, it's, uh, so uh, there was also a lot of confusion over where those masks ended yeah. up. I know yeah. a lot of people were uh, like, I was eligible for a mask. Where is it? Uh, it's can be a little hard to find. It's in the um, resources tab at the rewards claim vendor. Yeah. So if you have, I don't know, I, I personally had a bunch of grenades and stuff on there that I had to scroll through, but um, yeah. it should be there. Yeah, yeah, so it should be there. Um, so that's, as I said, that's the first part. The second part, and I've seen a few comments in chat already about that, saying, yeah, but that's still, that doesn't solve the fact that leaderboards is not a good system for mask. And as I said, we mm. agree. We agree with that feedback as well, and we are looking at changing the system for the next global event. So when the next global event hits, and we don't know yet when that's, uh, that's going to be, yeah. uh, we will change the system for the mask. What is that going to be yet, we don't know, but it's not going to be the same way that it was. Uh, so I don't know. Again, may or may not be still yeah, with leaderboards, I mean, may or may not be commendations. It's yeah. in discussion, but it's going to be a completely different system. We're definitely discussing it a lot here. I mean, we were discussing it during the event. We're discussing it now afterwards. and everything that the community is talking about is part of those discussions as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's been a, a lot of great, um, yeah, a lot of great feedback that yep. I've seen uh, in many posts. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, what else we got? So there is another global event coming. Yeah. So the next global event that we're going to do is going to be Assault, which mm -hmm. was the second one that was tested on the PTS. We don't have an ETA yet when it's going to happen uh, because first we want to address the mask issue. So the mask issue with this global event and mm -hmm. grant it. But also we want to basically, as I said, we want to change the system. So we will not do a global event until the, ch the system is changed and we have a better one in place. Yeah. So what that means is that smart. we're going to need to deploy a patch uh, to the game to change the system probably. Uh, okay. A client patch? Probably. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, we don't have an ETA yet when that's going to happen. That's going to be something that happens before 1.8. So the, you're not going to have to wait until 1.8 okay. comes out for the next global event. Uh, but it's probably still going to take a bit longer than what we had planned. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there will not be a global event until we have fixed this system. But yeah, when Assault comes out, it's going to be the next global event. And it will have a way better, hopefully a way better system for uh, Mask. Yes. All right. Um, classified gear sets were obviously a big part of the global event. I yep. know many people, not us, uh, have completed mini sets. And uh, I've seen a lot of people running Lone Star and it's going, things are going crazy. And, um, 
I actually, I'm waiting to see someone running Final Measure. If you're running Final Measure, please send me a link because I want to see it. I think it's going to be really cool, but we're going to try. Yeah. Uh, it is now available in the loot pool, in the common loot pool. Uh, I think, what was it, 1% from caches and 3% from named bosses? Yes, so it's, uh, yeah, 1%, you have 1% as an extra drop in caches, mm -hmm. uh, which comes on top of the 1% for exotic, which means that in one cache you can actually get both an exotic and a classified. Nice. Uh, and 3%, uh, yes, on named bosses, named bosses in the open world and in the dark zone. Yes. Uh, final measure is boss, yeah, Mr. Elliot. I, I, got, I got to see it in action. Someone, uh, someone's going to sh show me a... Yeah, some links, please. Uh, one of the things that I'm very excited about today, it's on the, it's on the next card. Yep, that one. Uh, <laughs> it's been Thanks, a while Harry. since we've done it. Uh, because uh, and I, I, we need a theme song for this. this is, that's a, a challenge to the community as well. If you want to make a shitty theme song for this segment, please do. Uh, Stats with Yannick is back. Da -da 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 -da. Um, that was La Cuca Russia, <laughs> apparently. I'm sorry. Um, so no, 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 no that's, that, that's not it. But, um, if it, oh, I'm, Peter, I'm thinking of the Glass Cannon podcast, Nerdage Sting, if anyone else has listened to that. That's what we need. That's what we need. And it needs to be as cringy as possible. All right, stats with the Anik. Someone please uh, take it away. That's you. This is, this is your segment. I promise we'll actually, we'll, we're going to make this segment like a thing and it's going to actually be, be good. But still, now it's, now it's bad, it's going to be good in the future. Promise. I still think it should be called Stats of the Game, but... Uh, no, no. It's going to be Stats of the Game. Anyway, so what are we talking about? <laughs> what are we talking about today? So what we did today is since we have this new system of commendations added to the game, we thought that was a cool, uh, cool thing that we could be looking at. I think so. <laughs> Thanks, I'm, I'm your hype man today. Thanks, Hamish, for approving. No problem. Um, so that's kind of a quick, like, put together thing. Uh, so we'll we'll probably have some uh, uh, some cooler things to look at in the future. But what we did yeah. today was looking at the commendations that have been completed uh, least by yes. players. Exactly. Just to let you know, guys. So if you've completed any of these, you're a badass. Yeah. Whoa, uh, <laughs> whoa Peter. Way to spoil. Way to spoil Whoa. it. So these are the top five rarest commendations. Yes. Uh, most rare? I wasn't sure exactly how to word that. Most the rare, rare mo mo the, the most rariest commendations. <laughs> the ones that have been completed yes. the least. Yes. Uh, so Falconeer. Falconeer, which is the one that's asking you to complete all the faction, Falcon Lost commendations, has only been completed by eight people. That's crazy. For the moment. That is as of... Uh, 22nd of August, though, yes. so, because that's when the, the last dump was done. So it could be that yep. it's a few more people now, but uh, yeah, there's some work to be done there. Yes. Then, uh, the next one is, yeah, flawless incursion. Uh, so that's the one where you need to basically do all the flawless commendations. Uh, yes. So there is a flawless commendation for each incursion, which uh, requires you to do the incursion without dying once. Or going down. Or going down. Anyone in your group. Anyone in your group. Yep. So you get a flawless commendation for each one of those, and if you do all four incursions, then you get flawless incursion yes. commendation. And so then, obviously uh, that's a tough one. There's the whole um, survival expert one. Uh -huh. So that that one's cool as yep. well. Uh, I, if anyone in chat has done any of these, please put your hand up. Uh, but you have to be truthful. Uh, goggle box. Yes. That's the version of the stolen signal commendations, including the flawless incursion for stolen signal. Yep. And uh, that's the last one, the flawless incursion for stolen signal. Yeah. That so, one, yeah, would be very hard. I'm sure uh, mm -hmm. that's tricky. And only 14 people have done that. <laughs> These commendations are freaking hardcore. Yes, they yeah, are. They are I mean, really obviously. hardcore. Yes. So uh, that's uh, stats with Yannick for today. And I, yeah. yeah, as I said, we are, it was just like a, just a quick look at, uh, at what we can find. I'm sure we can find some, uh, a bunch of funny ones uh, for the future. Yes, exactly. So if there, if there are ones that you want to know about, um, just let us know. Because uh, there, could be, <laughs> there could be some interesting ones that people want to look at. Like how many people have done the mm -hmm. Cardor one, for mm -hmm. example. Yes. Um, so that is all we have on the cards for today. Yeah. Uh, obviously, yeah, a bit of a short one. Yeah. Um, but, but hopefully we have some more news yeah. uh, next Thursday. We, we should have more to talk about next Thursday. So that will be... I think so. I but think so. 
Uh, yeah, so the thing is, again, I just want to talk about briefly about the leaderboards again because I've cool. seen a couple of comments of people saying, uh, like complaining because we are delaying the global events until the prime is fixed because people have been, you know, mm -hmm. complaining about masks. Uh, it's, I mean, there might be a small delay, but we are, we are going to try to make it happen as fast as possible first. So we are not talking about, you know, postponing it for the next three months or whatever. No, no, no. Uh, it just might take, you know, like a, you know, a few extra weeks or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but yeah, that's, we think that's the most important because obviously a lot of people enjoy the global events. Uh, and we, we have considered internally, like, should we just run it again, uh, the first global event yeah. outbreak? Because we have it, it works, people had fun. Uh, we could just run it again. But we don't want to run a global event with the current uh, situation with the leaderboards because that would just generate more frustration from the people that are very attached to the mask uh, system. Yeah. So we just, we just don't want to do that. We want to make sure that when the, the global event runs again, mm -hmm. uh, be it you know, uh, assault, that's the plan, but even if we rerun uh, Outbreak or whatever, we want to make sure that at this point the uh, mask granting system is going to be satisfactory for everyone. Yeah. So we just, yeah, we prefer to wait and make sure it works. Yes, agree. I think it's I think it's good. <laughs> DDC's run it again and I'll go vegan. Well <laughs> well we will run it again. So ha, ah, gotcha. Boom. <laughs> no backing out now. Yeah. Um uh, I saw someone asking oh, what was the question? Um uh, why aren't all commendations retroactive? Uh, that's that's something we've talked about before. Yeah. Um that uh, some of them were, some of them that you can't do again, mm -hmm. uh, for example. Uh but not everything was tracked in in the appropriate way. So we didn't yeah. have the data for yeah. some of those ones. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. data. And that, was, and that was a decision that, that was a call that needed to be made. When we made the commendations, we knew that some of them could be retroactive, so other couldn't, uh, because as Hamish said, the, mm -hmm. the data was not available. And I will say data because, because I'm French. And uh, that's the right way to say it. But, um, but so then we had to make a decision on like what could be retroactive or not. So like the kind of the rule of thumb that we decided to apply was just everything that is linked to an achievement that we can you can only do once uh, would be retroactive. So like you know go from Brooklyn to Manhattan or these kind of things uh, is not something you can redo again with your character. Yeah. So this would be retroactive. But then uh, everything that you can just you know grind uh, would not be retroactive. Mm -hmm. So that's how the code was made. Yep, exactly. So uh, another one that I'm seeing a lot of, and I don't have an answer for it, is the uh, bolt action sniper uh, bug right mm -hmm. now. Um, we definitely know about it, yep. and hopefully we have more news yep. on that next week. If we have news during the week on our gameplay streams, we'll we'll let you know. But for now, we don't know. Um, but we do. Know, well, we know about it. We don't. Yep. We uh, in terms of the status of the fix, we don't have any news on that today. Uh, anything else? Probably my mic is too quiet. Maybe mine's just too loud. Maybe it's just a beard that's... Uh, I think, honestly, that makes a difference. Could be. Yeah. All right, so uh, that's... Mechanics of the next global event, somebody was asking. Ah. Uh, what's Assault? Uh, assault is about distance. So that's the one where you do more damage when you're... What is it? Less than 30 meters? I can't remember. But when you're close to the enemy, you do more damage. When you're far from the enemy, you take more damage. Uh, so yes. it's basically a whole, uh, you know, a ranch uh, gameplay where you have to... Uh, exactly. It's, it's flipping that, that, yes. uh, the way that people would have played Outbreak. Yep. Um, so grab a shotgun uh, yep. or an SMG, I guess. Pistols? Anyway. Yeah, I mean, you could, you could just hip fire an SVD if you want, I don't know. Do, do, you do you, but, get, <laughs> do but, you, you want. but you'll be getting close. But it's going to be the same system yeah. where you have a global modifier that applies to everything that makes it easier, uh, and then you have you know, activity modifiers that you can pick uh, that make mm -hmm. it a bit more challenging and the group one. Someone said rip sniper rifles for the global event. I mean, I don't exactly know the, uh, the interaction of the stats for the, um, for the next global event, but maybe sniper rifles at close range will give you just crazy amounts of damage. I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. Anyway, that's a, that's a future thing. Yeah. Uh, obviously, people are saying, oh, we need to talk about 1.8 and, and these sorts of things uh, soon. Yeah. Not today. Not today. Yeah. Um, uh, just uh, because I've seen a bunch of people asking about server okay. lag, we're still looking at that. Uh, the investigation is still ongoing. There's mm -hmm. good progress being made. But uh, yeah, we, we don't have an update yet on what and when we're going to do. Mm. Another one that I saw, the gray items commendation, that's the rainbow one. You did yeah. that the other day. Yeah. How'd that go? 
I mean, it was easy for me because I had a character slot available. So yes. that's the thing, you know, it's either you have a character slot available and you can create a new character, just reach, uh, how's it called? Uh, the, I mean, the, the, when you reach Manhattan from mm, the helicopter yeah. and you have you a stash, stash there, yeah. so you can just put a gray item in there. Or if you have already all four characters, you can just try to find someone that has a low level character and can trade you a, a gray yeah. item. But you have to be in the group with them while they're when, doing it. When they get it. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, so if anyone's done that, please let us know because that, that's the way I'm going to have to do it. I have four max level characters, yeah. so. Yes. I was going to try and do that yesterday, but I had to go to a meeting. So next time, maybe, maybe Peter will do it and I'll just meetings. I know, stupid working. Uh, okay, that, unless you have something else to add? No, no, I'm good. I'm good. All right, good. We'll end it there then. Uh, thanks everyone for coming and hanging out today. Uh, the stream will continue with Anthony tomorrow. Is that correct, Peter? Yeah, Anthony's yep. going to be on tomorrow night um, about 25 hours from now, 24 and a half hours from now. Uh, and then I'll be on a Monday, and then we'll be doing lots of gameplay and, and that sort of stuff next week. And more news slash state of the game stuff next Thursday. Always. Yeah. It'll always be a Thursday evening thing. All right. We will see you again tomorrow and next week. Have a great weekend. See you guys. Bye.